Yeah, certainly disappointed. Um, you know, I thought um, in the first half, rather even game. If you look at all the uh, statistical part, score, and then, um, you know, we didn't win halftime, obviously. Gave up a third quarter score fairly quickly. And then as it moved forward, um, we couldn't um, generate things. So, you know, you can um, – you put a lot of energy into your opening game, and I think um, there's a host of people that are disappointed, but it will be my job to um, pull it together, and we will move in the right direction. Thanks, Coach. We'll open up for questions. Um, Good. Um, um, with the quarterbacks, obviously, going um, back and forth in the um, first half, what kind of play did you think that was the, the uh, route? Well, I thought it was. Honestly, I look at what happened in the first half. I thought it was a good decision. Um, we knew they were a good defensive run team, and we were going to have to add some things. So Josh gave us that escapability and made plays. Um, you know, here, here's what will happen. Um, and we knew this going in. If you, if you want to give too, credit, too much credit to the quarterback, or do you want to take it away from him? It is a hard game. <laughs> And I'm going I'm to sit there and say we approach too many third and long situations where you're not going to win. And um, from my vantage point, I don't think we protected them very well when the opportunities arose. Um, playing two quarterbacks is what we were going to do. Um, stuck with Jock in the, in the second half because he had the experience. And we weren't protected, and he's got the escapability to make plays, which he did. Um, not pleased where the pass game ended up. In fact, it's the same stats as last year against them. So I'll give them some credit. We have a bye week this week, so we're going to sort that out. Um, I'm confident in them. I'm just as confident as I was yesterday. Um, probably a tough opening game because they do mix up coverages quite a bit and they're very different than our defense. So we'll take it for there and then I'll evaluate the film. You know, I think Rhode Island just stuck with their game plan, in my opinion. Um, what I saw, they, they did a good job on third down in the second half. They were very efficient on third down. And you know, they kept drives alive, and um, the running backs ran really hard. So I didn't see anything very different from what they did. From our perspective, you know, we called the same things on both sides of the ball. And, um, you know, we weren't able to – make the plays needed. So, um, you know, halftime's interesting. Um, there's not enough time to say, you're going to do this, do that. You just try to get the kids' mental focus correct. I thought by scoring late in the half, we had a good approach, but um, it didn't work. Yeah, I think it's got to be approached correctly by the kids. Um, you know, um, I'd rather walk on the field on Saturday and get rid of this loss, personally. Um, um, and I think the kids would tell you the same thing. But um, it'll allow us to, to focus and, you know, it's going to be like anything else. You, you lose a game, you think it's the end of the world. And there's a lot of things out there that are – not football related. I was having a conversation this morning with somebody and I said, the thing I feel most bad about for, for football players on a Saturday afternoon, no matter where you are, is that at the end of the day, it's either a fail or a pass. And that's really hard to work your butt off for five weeks and all of a sudden say you got an F. And we're not going to approach it that way. They didn't get an F. They, got, they lost to a good football team, and they're going to have to get up and figure it out. And it's my job to get them to figure it out. Mike, 
Talk about Dempster, is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I thought you know, Cook did a good job um, there. And, you know, Cook was a receiver for two weeks in camp and all summer. And, you know, so, um, but he did a good job. And, you know, that injury happened a while ago, so that's no excuse to to our success. But, um, yeah, we didn't we didn't get off any big plays that changed the field. Um, they were hard yards, and their kids did a good job tackling. Um, they got the extra hat in there, and he made the tackle. Um, so it's, as, as I said, it, um, it needs to be better at every aspect. You know, um, you know, like anything, I'll have to watch the film. It was a team loss. Um, you know, I thought Rhode Island in the second half was able to gain yards on first down to put them in very good second and short situations. And a lot of their third downs were very manageable. And, um, you know, so I'm sure our kids played hard defensively. Um, but... You know, we gave up two big pass plays, and, and that hurt us when it was all said and done. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's funny because we've had very few drops all preseason, and you had a couple. Um, You know, I think when it um, when you don't win, um, I think they're all good questions you're asking. Um, I think sometimes it's really there isn't any answers other than get back on the horse and ride it better the next time. So we'll look at it. Um, the past game did not operate. It was very similar last year against Rhode Island and. Um, it frustrated me personally, but not the players, just that it wasn't better. It was my biggest concern going into the game um, of how it would go. Um, when we got up 7 nothing with the sack fumble, you know, it gave us a little breathing room. Um, you know, if you, you think about the first time we had the ball, we put a really good drive together, and Josh went down, got tackled maybe inside the 20, 15, and it was a holding penalty brought us back, and we weren't able to get out of that. So it's a fine line. Um, you know, yeah, I mean, I think they played okay. I mean, as I said, um, if you're going to attribute the incomplete passes just to the quarterback, um, the coaches have to take responsibility of that, and we've got to get them better prepared. Um, no, so we uh, we had found out the night before the game, kind of like Coach B had mentioned uh, through press uh, interviews. Um, we kind of pulled us together and told us each and separately what was going to happen and what was the game plan. Um, and so he let uh, DB and myself know that we will be rotating series as the game goes on, as the flow of the game goes. And then from there, we'll see uh, where things took off. And just uh, what's that like as a quarterback kind of trading off series? Does that be tough sometimes? Or? Um, I thought so at first, but after playing the game, I kind of – thought that it was better for the team, and that's what I'm all about. Um, Drew, DB, myself, we're all very close as a group. Um, so, you know, we're more than just teammates. We're good friends with each other. So, you know, if this was going to be the case, I was glad that I was able to do it with them. Um, and, you know, I thought it was definitely better for the team, and it was working for a while. Um, and then, you know, coaches made their changes in the decisions. And what do you think really changed as a team, do you think, in the second half especially? Um, I think we came out strong. You know, I, th I thought we started driving the ball. Um, and moving, we had the same mentality. You know, it was 14, 14 at the time, so we had the same mentality as a, you know, the game was ours. Um, and we came out, we gave everything we got, we gave it our best shot. 
I'm just unfortunately weren't able to come out with a win, win tonight. <coughs> Um, yeah, they give credit to them. They did a pretty good job tonight. They blitzed a lot. They sent a lot of blitzes on us. Um, you know, just trying to do the best I can to maneuver in the pocket and make plays when I can. Um, but, you know, give credit when credit is due. They, they definitely uh, played well tonight. You know, when you play against a, a, a ranked opponent, they're going to bring the whole house to you. And uh, they made some changes uh, offensively where they made our rovers, me especially, bite on plays that we, we shouldn't have never did. Um, but I give credit to them. But I will also say that uh, our, our group and what I was telling everybody in, in the crowd after the game was you got to expect things like that when you have five starters on the defensive side of the ball from last year. So it's a completely new 11, you know, and I'm just here to pull them along, bring the energy, no matter if we're down or up, I'm going to bring that energy and um, I'm just ready for the next game. <laughs> We want the responsibility, you know. Um, I want to say I'm the head of the snake. I want that responsibility, and I want my guys to come out there and have my back when I go out there. Um, we got a, a lot of new guys, uh, Ballesta, uh, Eric Black. Um, we had uh, Aiden, new linebacker. He, he, he hasn't played. He's been injured. And um, we got young guys on our D-line. So at the end of the day, we want that responsibility. We want to go out there and, and and get the first blow, so. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I felt good. I felt confident in myself, confident in my team, confident in my coaches, um, and that's really what, it, what it's all about. You know, we talked yesterday about trust, trusting each other, and that's really what it is. Football is the ultimate team sport. Um, you know, and I had trust in my guys, and they trusted me, um, and that ultimately made me feel better. You know, about the situation in at hand, um, and so you know, it was good to just get out there and just play some ball. Um, you know, and now we got to move on and, and look forward to you know the next week after the bye week, and we'll be good. We'll be all right. We'll bounce back. First, I want to give all glory to God. You know, I pray every 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 game before the game. I pray before I take the field in practice. Um, without without Him, I'm nothing. And uh, it's a bigger picture to me when um, you have people that's supposed to be here with you that's not here. And uh, Every game I wear my dog tag, so I represent them every time I go out there. And to, to be able to do something like that, go out there and score a touchdown on a defensive ball, that's, that's – come on now. <laughs> I'm – hey, <laughs> I feel like I was in high school with the ball again. <laughs> so, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm just glad. And I've been doing this for a long time, man. I'm glad to go out there and play along Josh, allow him to do what he does, and um, I'm, I'm ready to – to go up there to UMass and change, change, change this game right here. <laughs> you know? Thanks. Yep. Just another question from the guy. Uh, just on the back door. Your turnaround. Josh, with this being your first start and your first time playing, um, just extended time, so what do you kind of hope to take out of uh, this game? I'm sure that the stat sheet wasn't exactly as you hoped for, but what do you hope to kind of take out of, take out of this? The, the oh. Uh, learning, Le learned a lot from this game. Um, was able to gain some experience under my belt, which I think comes a long way. 
Um, but running is definitely the main thing, you know, being in the, in the game environment, um, you know, a full game like that. Just seeing how the flow of the game changes. It's a lot different from practice. Everything's a lot faster, you know. Um, so I thought, you know, the first game that it was definitely good to just see the difference kind of, you know, and be more comfortable and get more relaxed and have more composure, um, you know, throughout the whole game. And just to stay calm and trust in my guys, like I said before.